Hi, I'm Bobby from Geeky Bobbin. So, you're a quilter. You've mastered putting squares together. You've managed half square triangles. What do you need to know if you want to make a quilt with diamonds and triangles that are 60 degree and 120 degree angles? I've got two tips for you on how to get those pieces to line up properly because sometimes they're a bit of a brain bender. So the first thing we need to do is we need to attach one of these parallelograms onto the center diamond. And if we line up the edges just like that and then fold over our piece, we're going to end up in a little bit of trouble. You'll notice that this corner lines up. It would look like everything is lined up because the edges are lined up perfectly. Here's what happens though. After we sew our quarter inch seam allowance, and we fold this open, things don't line up anymore. So instead of being straight here and straight here, we've got a bit of a jig here. So how do we prevent that? There's two ways that we can sew this on without that issue. And one of them is to trim off these corners. So the corner here is trimmed off one quarter of an inch away from this line. So if you take your ruler and you move in one quarter, that's where that tip should be trimmed off, not a quarter of an inch from the tip. Trust me, the geometry works that way. And we can do the same thing with this tip. So I've got that over here with the green one. You can see that the tips of these pointy angles have been trimmed off. What that means is when we put our pieces together, the edge of that piece lines up perfectly. And when we sew our quarter inch seam allowance, we will end up with a straight line here and a straight line here. So it's just as if this was a longer parallelogram. Okay, so I have my two pieces of fabric here and I'm going to be sewing them together, right sides together, just like that. These corners line up. So I have my corners lined up just right and on this side, On this side, they're going to line up as well. I'm going to make sure that my edges are together and I'm going to start sewing. When I get close to the end of my seam here, these edges still should line up. So if anything has shifted a little bit, I can use a stiletto like this to keep the edges lined up nicely. So another way to make sure that we line everything up correctly is when you line up your edges, obviously you want the two raw edges to be lined up. You don't want things to be off like that. But over here, these dots are a quarter inch away. So if I'm at my sewing machine and I have this edge lined up a quarter inch away, then my needle should be on this line here. So I'll show you this on the machine in a moment, but it's just easier because there's nothing in the way here. If this pin here is my needle on the machine, then I know that these are lined up correctly if, you see this little V? If that little angle, that crook of that angle is at the needle, then I will have a perfect angle when I stitch this down. So if you don't want to trim off those corners, that's a different way for you to get things to line up. And I'll show you why you might want to prefer one over the other over at the machine. 
Let's say I start approaching the machine with these corners this way. When I get to my needle, that intersection, the cross, the point where this line and this line cross over, those two are not where my needle is. So I know I need to adjust something. So I can adjust where those two pieces cross, where this line and this line cross. And when I get that so that it's lined up with my needle, I will know that I'm exactly a quarter of an inch away. That is what I want. Okay, so when I've got that right up there, we zoom right, right in, and we can see that those two meet right there. So that's where I can start stitching. And then when I get to this end, if I hadn't trimmed off that corner, I could do the exact same thing. I could just make sure that where they cross is where it goes under the needle. I'll show you that on a different one. I'm going to attach my next strip and I will show you why I'm not always such a fan of trimming the corners. So if I'm relying entirely on getting those two corners lined up, what I find is I can have them lined up just right and then I drop my presser foot and I start sewing and the feed dogs grab the top piece before they grab the bottom and they get misaligned. Okay. So I'm getting to the end of this seam and I need to make sure that this stays a quarter of an inch away. If I had one of those little lines um, that shows where my stitch line's gonna go, that would probably be really helpful here. But instead, as that corner approaches my needle, I just make sure that I adjust if I need to. And in this case, it worked out perfect. I'm going to do one more demo. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to line up the corner. I can see through my presser foot if that little V is the right distance away from the flange on my foot. And I'm just going to adjust as needed. So if we zoom right on in, you can see that that is lined right up with where my needle is going to go, which is exactly what I want. All right. And now I need to make sure that this end, so the other end, when I get to it, has to be the same. I just need that point where these two pieces overlap to stay where my needle is. Now this piece here underneath is cut on the, oh, this cut is on the bias. So I need to make sure that this doesn't stretch. I have starched my fabric, but it still might stretch and distort just a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that it stays in line with this piece, which is on the grain. So I'm going to just nudge that a little bit. I'm using my stiletto to move the piece that's underneath. And I just nudge that. Of course, some people would be saying, girl, if you just used pins, you would not have any problems. And to those people, I say, I don't like pins. You do you. Okay, I'm getting closer. I'm using my stiletto to hold them together. And hold, hold, hold. Perfect. When I open this one up, we can see 
that these seams all make one perfect straight line, which is exactly what we want. So there you have it. If you have a template that has the corners trimmed off, you can use that and line those edges up exactly. Or you can keep your points on, cross them exactly where your needle is. Happy stitching, and I hope you'll join me in making the Vortex or the Arctic Vortex quilt. See you soon.